Hey, crypto mining enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll take you on an exciting journey into the world of cryptocurrency mining using Kudo Miner on your Windows PC. Whether you're a beginner, eager to get started, or an experienced miner looking for better results, this in-depth guide has got you covered. Let's unleash the power of Kudo Miner and optimize your mining potential. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's understand what Kudo Miner is all about. Kudo Miner is a powerful software that enables you to mine cryptocurrencies using your computer's hardware. It supports various mining algorithms, making it versatile for different coins. Plus, Kudo Miner's user friendly interface makes it a top choice for miners of all levels. First things first, let's get Kudo Miner up and running on your Windows PC. Head over to kudominer.com, the link will also be in the description below, and click on Download Kudo Miner for Windows. From there, you will be brought to a login screen where you can sign in through various methods, or if you're not a registered user yet, you can also sign up. With your account set up, it's time to add your mining device to Kudo Miner. Log into your account, go to the Devices tab and click on add device or connect a device. Follow the on-screen instructions to add your computer's hardware to the mining pool. So here we will be selecting Windows as the type of worker that we want to set up. Hit continue. From here you will use your organization's username to log in to the Kudo Miner app once it's installed into your Windows machine. So from here you will be able to locate the download Kudo Miner link that will bring you to download the Windows executable. So go ahead and download that. And once it's installed, you can go ahead and double click it and install Kudo Miner. When the Kudo Miner setup installation window appears, go ahead and review the terms of service before hitting I agree. And if you're new to Kudo Miner, go ahead and choose desktop app, perfect for beginners, graphical user interface, because it's actually the most stable channel that we can use. And since you're a Windows user, um, you can essentially leave it on all day, debug your GPUs, and keep a stable system running for all of your mining. So here we'll choose stable channel, and then give it a moment. To install. When you log into Kudo Miner application for the first time, you'll need to enter in your username. Your username will be the same as your organization name within your Kudo Miner dashboard. So I'll go ahead and type mine in. And hit go. And then now it looks like I am officially logged into my Kudo Miner account and we'll have some configurations that we want to enable to get the best performance for a Kudo Miner on Windows. So first things first, you will want to enable third-party workloads for the Miner. This way the Miner will be more stable and you'll have more access to different jobs for mining. So you want to hit yes for enable third-party miners. And now we'll let it load so go ahead and go to your settings. And here are some settings that I like to include. Um, you do want to enable Windows Defender exclusions. Adding exclusions for Windows Defender will help to keep your computer clean, free of viruses. So it works side by side with Windows Defender and makes sure um, to prevent different applications from running at the same time as Kudo Miner. Here you will want to enable third party miners. You can enable overclocking if you want to. If you understand how to increase the speed of your GPU and you don't see any type of performance issues, you can go ahead and enable overclocking. I like to enable automatically enable new workloads. Here in your CPU settings, you can hit enable. Oh, and by the way, each of these miners, they're mining in a different coin. When they are mined with Kudo Miner, they will be automatically converted into your coin um, when it's mined. So here we're mining Ethereum Classic, 
or Raven coin and that will be automatically converted into Bitcoin when I get paid and so we do want to go ahead and enable the Nvidia graphics card and you can also choose to hide it um, on startup or at all times so usually you like to keep it minimized if you are running a computer that is for public use like say an internet cafe um, you can go ahead and enable the pause when computer is in use um, so that it doesn't mind when a computer is being used um, only when it's idle and so that can be very handy for computers that have multiple applications you can also schedule usage um, let's say that you want the computers to mine at a specific time frame you can do that as well and then you can also have it enabled to be launched on startup so let's say that you want the computer to automatically start mining once you restart the computer you can enable that as well and lastly there is earn when started so without having to hit play you can automatically start earning and so go ahead and hit save and now your settings should be saved successfully keep an eye on your mining activity through the kudo miner dashboard you can track your hash rate your earnings and hardware status in real time understanding your mining performance is crucial to optimizing your setup as you mine cryptocurrencies your earnings will accumulate in kudo miner when you're ready to withdraw go to the wallet tab and click on add a new wallet here you can select the coin for withdrawal you can choose from algorand bitcoin kudos ethereum or monero here we will select bitcoin enter the name of your wallet address and the name of your wallet so let's say for example you type in a wallet address you can just call it bitcoin wallet and then here you would simply enter in the hashtag of your wallet and then hit save when you're ready to withdraw your bitcoin head over to the accounts tab and click on withdraw funds here you can select the account that you want to withdraw your cryptocurrency from and the account you would like to withdraw to so here just select the type of cryptocurrency and then the wallet address and then once you've done that here I have Ethereum for example um, but you can select Bitcoin or any other coin that you desire and then once you have that you just simply enter in the amount that you want the transaction fees and then you can withdraw your funds now keep in mind that each exchange or withdrawal has a minimum so now let's head back over to the devices tab here you can see a list of all of your devices that are currently running on a kudo miner network here you can see my windows pc machine is running a version of kudo miner and if we take a look at it cl more closely we can see that there's a dashboard that can tell me exactly how much hash rate is being mined how much power usage the temperature of the machine as well as many more other details that will help me organize and manage my mining system so here you can also see um, the actual GPU that's being used as well as some more statistics that might be useful such as fan speed or utilization ratio um, here at the top you can also check the jobs that are running um, just to make sure that everything is running smoothly and that there are any Hiccups you can also check the benchmarks to make sure that your GPU is enabled and compatible. And let's say that a job fails, um, the Kudo Miner system will automatically restart the next job that is running. So your Kudo Miner should be running at all times. And here you can also restart or reboot the machine. So let's say that you're on your mobile device, you can actually manage all of your mining systems from this dashboard. The last step that I want to show you guys is how to debug almost any and every bug or error that you might encounter while using Kudo Miner for Windows. So let's say your GPU is malfunctioning, um, you can go ahead and hit disable, let it stop, and then re-enable. And that should usually fix most issues that you have. 
with the GPU or CPU running and starting. The second place that you can check to fix most errors with the CUDA Miner is within your device manager. Here you can go to your display adapters and take a look at your GPU. Here you can update your driver, which is recommended. Let's say that it's paused or maybe some workers aren't loading correctly. Usually a quick update to your driver will solve any and all issues. Um, so you can try that out if there are updates available. Another thing you could try doing is disabling the device and then re-enabling it. That will usually um, clear the cache on the GPU and then um, usually restart all workers so that the GPU can run again. Um, if that doesn't work, you can also try um, uninstalling and reinstalling the GPU um, and also going into your properties. Most manufacturers of GPUs, they also have their own software that you can take a look into um, just to make sure that the drivers up to date and that all the configurations are optimized for performance. Congratulations, you've completed the Kudo Miner tutorial for Windows PC users. By now, you should be confident in your ability to mine cryptocurrencies effectively using Kudo Miner. Remember, successful mining requires continuous learning and adaptability to changing market conditions. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more educational content on cryptocurrency mining, trading, and blockchain technology. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or any further assistance, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Let's connect and grow together as a thriving crypto community. Happy mining with Kudo Miner, and until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of cryptocurrencies. Stay crypto curious.